back to another Rose City Reptiles video. I'm Joey, this is Rose City Reptiles, and in today's video, we're gonna be grinding up the ultimate Tegu diet. So I've got a new toy I need to show you guys. I found it on Facebook Marketplace a while back, and today's the first day that we're gonna be using it right here, this bad boy, brand new grinder. Time to retire the old one and try out this big boy. Um, not sure how good it's gonna work. It was homemade, I bought it from somebody. And yeah, we're gonna be whipping it up. All we need on this table before we get started are the groceries. So three, two, one, and boom, groceries have arrived. I'm gonna go over real quickly kind of what we're gonna be adding into this mix. Every time we make it, it's a little different because it depends on what's available in the grocery store. But let me show you what we've got this time. So. First up for our fish, we're gonna be putting, grinding up some salmon. Um, we've got some berries. So we're doing red raspberries and blueberries. We also have some chicken hearts as well as some chicken livers, chicken necks. Um, we have some ground turkey. We also have these drumsticks, which I'm not sure. We're gonna see if the grinder can handle bones this size. And then we also are throwing in some beef heart. So a variety of different meats. Some of it has bone in it. The necks have bones. The drumstick has the bones. And then, you know, then we've got the hearts and livers and berries. Oh, and then we're throwing in some carrots. I always like to add some type of root vegetable like sweet potatoes or carrots into the mix. Um, and yeah, this is what we're gonna be throwing in into our tegu mix this go around and this will last us here at rose city reptiles it'll last us um a few feedings so <laughs> we do this a lot but this is our first time using this new grinder so i'm really curious to see how it compares to our other one our other one has a, had a half horsepower motor in it and this one has a one horsepower motor so we shall see how it holds up so let's get to grinding Tegu's in the audience kind of checking us out and seeing what we're doing and yeah we're making you guys some food what do you think we are whipping up some food for you guys most of the Tegu's are still brumating besides the babies and then some of the juveniles are starting to wake up what's up girl we got some food coming <laughs> all right so with this grinder, there's just a little light switch on this side, an on off button. You turn that on and it starts a spinning. And then this wheel is on here so you can, that's the reverse. So if it gets jammed, I guess I can roll it in reverse and try that out. So, all right, um, I'm gonna start unpacking some of this and getting it ready to go into here. And also I need to figure out something to catch the food when it comes out so because it has this ledge on here i need a bowl and something to kind of get it into the bowl so i'll be right back once i figure that out so as you can see right here we've got everything unpackaged in this container it's a lot of food to grind up um but you can kind of have an idea of the ratios so we've just got it all piled up we've got fish back here got our fruit and our root vegetables and then liver and chicken and turkey <laughs> there's there's a lot in here all right so here's what we're gonna attempt to do I've got all the food that needs ground up in this container and that's a tip I have for you guys that are making this at home go ahead and unpackage everything that you have because once you get started your hands get messy and it's hard to touch anything also have some paper towels close by but as this thing so the food is gonna come out here and it's got this ledge here I wish it didn't but I'm gonna just have this plate and I'm just gonna attempt to like dump it into here as we're grinding it so let's go ahead and cut it on and we're gonna start with something easy just to kind of get it lubricated so I actually have some ground turkey here already ground up purchased that way we're gonna just start putting that in 
you guys can see how it comes out. Not too impressive because that was ground meat, but now we're going to go ahead and add some chicken necks. Let's see how that goes. Kind of hear that getting ground up in there. Chicken necks have a bone in them. They're definitely a, something I enjoy using. Um, let's go ahead. This machine seems to be our last grinder would struggle a little bit with chicken necks. This one's not slowing down at all. So not really spitting it out yet either, but it will. Ooh, baby. Oh, baby. There we go. Oh, all right. Okay, I just gave it a little, I just give it a little muscle. All right, let's see. I'm new to this grinder, gotta figure it out. But it has this wheel on here. Let's try a little reverse. All right, a little reverse, and let's turn it back on. All right, let's pause it here. So you guys take a look at this. There are tiny little bones in here. That's actually a little piece of a bone. This is great for your tegus. Um, this is the best way to get calcium in them is a actual natural way is by giving them bones. Um, and so I like grinding it up. It's much safer. And you can just see the difference between the ground turkey and then what we just added, which is the chicken necks. So a lot more color in the chicken necks, and that's because there's more things in it. All right. We got some chicken liver here. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. Another reason why I like to have everything open, like everything available, is because it really does, you do have to keep it kind of lubed up. So like if I'm if I'm just adding things that have bones in them, it might bog it down. But if I add the chicken liver and then I add some chicken necks like this, it kind of helps it go through a little smoother. Berries also, those are gonna be more of like your lubricant to help get it all through the machine how you want it. Oh, that's gonna get a little nasty, but that's okay. Kind of like having this hand wheel on here. So if I really have to, I can just get some get some power in there. Um, I have some of the salmon but it is frozen solid, but let's go ahead and drop that in. Okay, I guess that's good. Wasn't sure. My last grinder would have struggled. This is gonna make things so much easier. All right, it's pushing that frozen salmon through, no problem. That's actually, that's all fish coming out now. So it, it does, it's not struggling with that at all. So that's really good. It's pumping this out. This is fast. This is fast. All right, now one thing I'm not sure about are these drumsticks. If anything's gonna hold it up, it's gonna be those. They've got a thicker bone in them. All right, so, but we are, what should we do it? Should we try it? I'm not sure how it's gonna work, so. Got my, I'm gonna drop in some liver, this drumstick, and then some more liver. Let's find out. I, it's, I mean, seems like it's working. We also got some chicken hearts here, a neck, and then another drumstick. If I can grind drumsticks, that's gonna be fantastic. That makes it so easy. 
Because drumsticks, you can always find those available at the grocery store. Some of this stuff is hit or miss. Look at that. This is drumstick. Boom. Look how this is looking. You can see everything in there. You can hear the bones being ground up. And it's working great. I'm really excited about this. All right, got some more chicken necks. This thing seems to be handling everything that we're throwing at it. Some more frozen salmon. I didn't think this hand wheel would be so handy. Whoa, hand wheel is handy, y'all. A hand wheel is handy. Okay, so um, let's see, what else? This was a good find. I found this thing on Facebook Marketplace, 75 bucks. Come on now. The guy used it for his dog um, and his dog passed away. <laughs> and I, I literally saw it on Facebook Marketplace and I like left immediately. It was like an hour away left immediately and went and picked it up because I really wanted one that was one horsepower because I know that's that's what it what you need to take care of these bones but I still I wasn't sure if this thing would handle it but it is check it out big old drumstick just crushes crushes up the bones I'll throw some berries and my root vegetable, which is carrots this time around, and then a drumstick, and some livers. Let's go, baby! Oh, okay. Handy hand wheel. Oh, there, there we go. Me and the me and the engine motor. Me and the motor working together, getting it going. All right. This thing looks kind of dangerous, though. They always scare me. Put your yeah, a little scary, a little scary, but we're getting it done, and it's kind of fun. Oh, oh, come on. Getting a little aggressive, getting a little aggressive with it. All right, let's drop in some lubricant, the berries. And we'll go ahead and just drop in some, some more ground meat. Oh, you can see the spitting those berries out. We're almost ready to dump it. Boom. All right, so we're actually, oh, let me get my handy handle. All right, so we're actually almost done grinding all that food. It only took like less than 10 minutes that we've been at it. Our last grinder would have taken a little bit longer than that, for sure, probably triple or quadruple that time. This thing is a beast, but check it out. Almost all the way done. Just just watch this. Things like this make reptile people happy. All right, so y'all watch this. Look at this. Drumstick, drop down in. Just just come watch it from the top. Watch this thing. Oh, all right, he's doing the dance. He's doing the dance. Get, get sucked in. Check that. This thing's a beast. Alrighty, we will be right back with you guys when all of this is ground up. I'll show you what we do next. We've got it all ground up. I'm gonna just, it comes out pretty mixed up just because I put it in, you know, mixed up. That's, that's another thing why I don't do like all the necks and then the liver. You know, I like to put it in, you know, just like you guys saw. That way when it comes out, it's already mixed up. But I'm gonna go ahead and just Give it some mixing here before we start bagging it up and saving it for the next little bit of feedings. So you guys can see this thing gets it mixed up really well. And for you guys that just have like a couple tegus, you know, a, a smaller grinder will work just fine. Um, I know grinders can get pretty pricey. That's why 
I just, I lurk on those Facebook Marketplace waiting for one to come up. When I saw this one, I had to grab it. Oh yeah, this is perfect. This looks great. This next part gets a little nasty. Putting putting it in the bag is probably my, my least favorite part. All right, so we got all the food from here and we've got it placed into bags. This is kind of how we get it, how we freeze it. I try to flatten it out inside the bag as much as possible. That way when it comes time to thaw out, it thaws out faster. So it'll thaw out faster, you know, the more flat it is compared to if you just put it in there like this. So we just lay them down, try to get the air out and as cleanly as possible, get the bag sealed up and, and then that's just, that's how we store them in the freezer till it's feeding day. Right, we did it. We just finished up packaging up all the tegu mix for the day. Check it out. We got it right here. Bunch of bags full of tegu food. Thank you guys for watching another Rose City Reptiles video. Hopefully this gave you some ideas. It probably made you want the grinder really bad. <laughs> this grinder was a beast. Now it's time for me to clean it. Hopefully that's not too much of a chore. We'll see. We'll see how that goes, but we got it. We got it done. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next Rose City Reptiles video. Bye.